The nephropathic cystinosis is an ultra-rare, irreversible disease that usually appears in infants and children at a young age. It's a metabolic disease due to the accumulation of the amino acid cysteine. It is a lifelong condition, even if available treatments such as therapies and transplantations have allowed people with the disease to live longer. Costantinos is a young boy with nephropathic cystinosis who has just come of age. Raised in Greece, in a small town not too far from Thessaloniki, he recently moved to the city to begin his university studies in physics, which is one of his passions. And that's where we went to meet him. I lived in a village, so it was kind of a close society. So you are pointing out, uh, so this kid has that, that kid has that. It's like when someone learns it, the whole village learns it. <laughs> Uh, the main side effect of uh, cystinosis is like uh, is uh, that uh, crystals are deposited all over the body. They mainly affect the uh, kidneys and eyes, and uh, they are causing damage that can lead to uh, kidney failure, failure or um, blindness even. And uh, those uh, side effects obviously uh, are managed by. Uh, the drugs that I take. Um, with the eye drops, um, you can even get rid of uh, crystals in your eye. When you have instances, you develop certain uh, skeletal problems like uh, rickets or um, knockknees. I think knockknees can be fixed uh, surgically, but I'm choosing not to have surgery right now because of my studies. Um, so when I was uh, young, uh, about one, uh, one and a half years old, um, a neighbor of mine and I noticed that I couldn't walk when I was of age that I could walk. So um, my mother and my father uh, brought me to the hospital. Uh, so some tests were done and uh, I was misdiagnosed uh, by some doctors. So uh, the problem persisted. Uh, I was uh, I had a weakness on my uh, lower body. So uh, they. they Took me to the hospital again. There I met uh, Ms. Savopoulou and then uh, they took some uh, DNA sample, I think, and uh, it was uh, flown to sent to a research center and uh, there I was misdiagnosed again. And then I was uh, given the correct diagnosis and uh, I started treatment. To this day, I'm uh, tested every three months to uh, see where cysteine levels are. And uh, right now I don't have many challenges, but uh, like a year ago, uh, a year and a half, uh, I was on dial dialysis, so that was a challenge on its own, yeah. Nephropathic patients that uh, get a renal transplant, I think their, their challenges are minimized. But they, they still exist, like uh, you have to take uh, medication. I started uh, dialysis when I was uh, 17, I think, and was uh, I was uh, lucky in a way that uh, people in Greece uh, get to that uh, that are uh, under 18. We have a list basically of all patients uh, needing transplant, and uh, people are under 18 uh, are boosted up in that list to to have a transplant first. So I, I was lucky in that way. I got to be in hospitals for a very long period of my life, so um, that was hard, and so it was <laughs> a rough period. <laughs> Listen to you, doctors, because I I didn't listen to them so much, <laughs> and uh, I thought. I was different, I was built different, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that kind of deteriorated my, my, my disease and uh, if I, maybe, if I took my, my medication more uh, precisely, maybe I could have kind of avoided my, maybe transplant and uh, I've learned to manage situations better.
I've met a lot of great people and are always there are some bad experiences, but yeah, I think except the disease, the, the life the experience you get kind of balances out. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it's, it's a learning experience and I, I like to think it of as a lesson. As a lesson. I, I know four people from Greece that are diagnosed with uh, cystinosis and uh, one of which is my brother and uh, the other kids, uh, I've met them. Uh, we actually don't talk a lot about our disease. We talk about daily life in general. And uh, if we need to talk about something, we will talk uh, about our disease, but uh, it's not like the main, uh, the main subject. I went uh, to Lyon uh, in July uh, for a young patient advocacy group. Um, there I met uh, doctors and patients from basically all around the world, and uh, it was it was a very very good experience. Yeah, it wasn't so uh, so focused uh, in the medical part, but it was a chance to meet each other and talk about our our life, basically. And uh, I didn't have a chance to do that uh, until the, the, the advocacy group, yeah. I did an interview like two days ago for an aeronautics group uh, at my university, Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. So we are looking forward to um, a a cup, it's basically a cup uh, that takes place in America. I think it will become harder <laughs> as the years go. So, um, but I want to do a PhD. I think I want to go to the field of cosmology or make, maybe like theoretical physics in, in general. But uh, CERN is doing some cool stuff there. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know if I managed to get there. But <laughs> That's, that's a dream. <laughs> Nephropathic cystinosis is the most common and severe form of cystinosis. It is caused by the mutation of a gene, and it is a genetic disease in which an altered copy of the gene must be inherited from both parents. It is estimated to affect one child out of every 50 to 100,000. With early diagnosis and proper treatment, life expectancy is now raised to about 50 years.